Hey everyone, welcome back to Crypto Cash. Thank you so much for joining me here. Hope you're having a great day. Happy Monday to you. Nice red day in the market. I am super happy to see this. Uh, not just because we have some shorts open in the market, but more importantly, it's actually doing what it's supposed to. Minus that weird little pump on Sunday night when the Asian market's open, they got everyone to get trapped in some late longs. And now a lot of them are really, really struggling. So I hope you didn't take a late long with SUI, especially going into this resistance level. Look at how uncanny this is. This level has been pretty consistent throughout the entire time here for SUI. And look at that wick right up to about 218 and turned right around. Left a little bit of fair value there, a little bit of liquidity and pulled back here. But if you look at this chart and you compare this with Bitcoin, I would, you would have to agree that it's running fairly concurrent, right? So no matter how awesome you think this coin is, it's still susceptible to sell-offs, all right? So we just gotta be mindful of that. We're gonna talk about liquidation levels and kind of look into some more macro stuff here today, kind of see what's going on with the bigger picture. But the general consensus here is that it's performing as expected in the market. I would say the tentative top for SUI is in. Uh, pop, uh, contrary to popular you know, belief, um, I do think we are probably more likely to continue a little bit lower if we lose $2. $2 is that specific level that um, has been a pretty consistent. It was a previous resistance. Now it's turned into a potential support level. So we just kind of got to be mindful of those things there. Let's take a quick look here, of course, at liquidation first to kind of open up, uh, you know, the discussion or the conversation of, you know, what's going on the back end. While we're waiting for that to load, please hit the like button, comment below. Just want to say thank you so much again to my, um, you know, everyone in the SUI community. You've been fantastic and phenomenal uh, with supporting the channel. Deeply appreciate that. And um, while I don't take a lot of SUI trades, we do have that as an option in our day trading um, algorithm. I basically have a day trading bot that runs with my strategy. SUI has been pretty profitable so far, along with ICP. Very similar strategies there. Uh, anyways, conversation for another day with ICP. We'll talk about that later. For SUI, what we're looking at here is just the local liquidation here. This is basically the last seven days on the left-hand side. So if you zoom in, you can kind of see 220 is the upper range and about 195 is that lower range. And I'm just kind of ballparking, but we probably got close to about a million, sorry, a billion dollars in liquidation at 195 and approximately the same thing about 210 to 220. Sorry, 220 to 225 rather. All right, so again, that's just kind of the local areas that are liquidation. So since we're closer to the lower end, it would make sense for the price to, to sweep that lower liquidation level, okay? Again, especially based on the fact that Bitcoin does feel like it wants to continue to pull back, so there's that as well. So what we wanna do here is look at, because um, again, here's the macro. We got larger accumulations at lower ranges, nothing to really concern ourselves with. I really don't think we're gonna see 170 or 140s. A lot needs to happen between now and then. I think Bitcoin would need to be running towards low 60K range to see that happen. Um, and I don't think we're there yet, okay? Or at all, rather. Let's look at SUI here, just really quick refresh. We can see here that the liquidation delta has shifted from mostly bullish to mostly bearish. Again, this isn't like entirely like accurate letting us know the price is just gonna go down because of this. Once this becomes overextended and stays there for too long, then we usually see that reversal. We're probably hitting our tentative bottom for SUI to that $2 mark, so there's that as well. But at this point here, the overall sentiment is that um, you know, SUI should hold $2. If it doesn't, we would I would say 195 to possibly even 170 as an extreme worst case scenario. I'll discuss that here in a minute. Open interest is 213, so there's a lot of late longs here at 213. Um, so basically in the, last, in the last seven days, we've seen the most amount of open interest. Basically the open positions are at 2 213. So you can presume that people are in the red now at this point. Um, either A, because they're listening to too many moon boys online, you know, saying this is gonna go to the moon again, or just in general, they're maybe just a little more uh, novice perhaps and not really aware of the big picture. And that's normal, totally understandable. Uh, it's all good, but yeah, you wanna be careful about like trading with emotions. That's usually what people are doing at this point, taking too many longs at the top. While it could continue to run, I think it's its first little, you know, awesome, you know, breakout, so to speak, or people say the banana zone or whatever, that, that's already happened. You don't really get two bananas in a row, if that makes sense. It takes a while for the second one to occur. So just bear that in mind. Okay, so now that we understand that, let's look at the weekly and kind of just double check a few things. We're over all moving averages. It's gonna be like that for a while. Um, we have broken down back below under 70 on the RSI. Generally construed as a sell signal, okay? Doesn't mean you just sell to the, to the ground floor. It's not the thing. It just implies that you should have taken profits by now. Most people are profitable on this coin unless they got in at $2 or higher. Um, and again, if you got in at $2 or higher, 
that's essentially FOMOing in, if you will, right? You're kind of late to the game. Uh, and that's normal, very standard stuff too, to, don't get wrong, that's just kind of how market makers get you to, uh, to react. But at this point, we got the uh, money flow index pulling back. These are all still very bullish signs, folks, so I don't want you to misinterpret. This is still good. Um, the thing I'm a little concerned with, though, is our, our macro ascending trend line is getting close, so we'll talk about that here in a minute. But from a, a weekly standpoint, uh, SUI is still in pretty good shape, but we're starting to see the, that shift in momentum, okay? Um, it doesn't necessarily mean the price is going to come down. It just implies that we at least, at the very least, have to go sideways for some time. Let's go ahead and take a look here at the daily time frame. So this is what's concerning me. Of course, we haven't gotten there yet, but we're getting close. We've officially tested this lower level here for the moment. Um, and if we do take a look here, we can kind of see that 20-day SMA at that 0.618 FIB level of roughly $195 to $2 was retested. Okay, so. It has been tested in the past, and last time it took off pretty well, so keep in mind there's still potential. But I think the likelihood of the price taking off from here, unless Bitcoin runs towards 75000 is pretty low. Again, mainly because of how uh, paired SUI has become with Bitcoin recently. Now, I know that there's a lot of like you know folks that are passionate about this coin, and like, it's going to go places. Regardless of how awesome the project is, there's really no other way around it. It, it. The coin is aligning itself with Bitcoin. We have a bearish engulfing candle here so far in the daily. Our RSI is trending towards 50. Money flow index is below the price action. Ever since we've sh seen that shift in the MFI, the price has been doing pretty poor. So there's just a, a lot of, uh, what is it, uh, cracks in the glass, I guess is the best way to describe it. A lot of reasons here where we're starting to see the, the, slow, the slow fall, if you will. Now again, I'm not proposing we're gonna see 170 just yet, but that would be that next area of liquidation and potential reality if Bitcoin does start to you know, trend closer to its 0.618 golden pocket, about 64.5. So again, a lot of those things are happening mainly because you can see this coin has, has coupled itself with Bitcoin. And generally when that happens, you'll see the price continue to run parallel with it. While it still does very well with its pumps, it, it does 2x Bitcoin for the most part. It's also 1xing Bitcoin to the downside. Okay, so just, just know that's a real thing. Uh, it's best not to be just you know, completely ignorant to that. So four hour time frame. Let's take a look here. We can see this lower area of liquidation has been swept, uh, majority of it. So again, there's not a lot of meat left on the bone of the downside. We're starting to see this little hammer doji candle forming. Uh, Bitcoin is showing something similar here as well. While I feel Bitcoin might be range bound between 67 and 68K and potential to retrace down below, uh, we're in a situation right now where, um, you know, it's... It, so SUI is doing something very similar, if not worse. I mean, you see here, we actually established a lower low, which is generally a sign of reversal. Okay, so you see here, this local low here, granted that was on a weekend, uh, but we see this now implying that we're probably gonna have a resistance at about the 205 mark. Okay, price comes back up, that local low should turn into a new high. Okay, that's essentially how it's supposed to work. Uh, and we look at this range here, let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit. Let's see what the point of control looks like. We can recognize here that we have our macro point of control in the last, what, uh, is ever since we've been in this range in October. So, so far this month, we've seen the most amount of people buying at 206. That reaffirms that resistance level, okay? So my speculation is if, if SUI comes back up, we'll see an initial rejection off 205, 206, okay? And again, that's pending Bitcoin makes a run towards 68K. Bitcoin does not, I think SUI will, at the very least, sweep 195, potentially get coming even lower. But once more, we haven't broken this ascending trend yet. So please understand the macro is in decent shape in this coin. The sky is not falling yet. We're not in terrible shape. There's just a lot of things here kind of letting us know that we cannot be naively uh, long on, on all of our positions. Okay. Uh, now, again, different story altogether. If you're adding to your position spot bags, for example, like $2 even would be a good spot in uh, consideration, 195 And then there's a few other two I'll try to list as well. But the general consensus here is we've, we keep jumping above and dropping below 50 in the RSI. That really tells us there's a lot of indecision here and that a trend reversal is happening soon. Doesn't mean the trend is gonna go down, it just implies that if we don't go up soon, we will go down. Okay, we're kind of forming a, a bearish rectangle, if you will. Again, that's more of a metaphorical bearish rectangle, but you can kind of see here. Here, let me give you a better example. So you see that guy right there, that guy right there. Generally, the price will do this and continue lower, right? That's essentially where it's at. It's a very crude illustration. I apologize, but that's kind of the consensus. I don't want to take your your time and essentially draw that chart out here, but I'll post a playout chart on Twitter, Telegram, and Discord as per usual. So if you're not familiar, it looks a little something like this, you know, kind of gives you perspective on coins that I'm covering and what I'm planning to take trades with. And SUI, I would be looking for, you know, roughly along at $2, $2 uh, hypothetically, and then potentially a short at 205.
Okay, now it seems kind of crazy, but a lot of that hinges on how Bitcoin performs and just how much more time we can spend in this range. But we do break below this lower you know, $2 mark. We'll probably see a continuation down. My money's on the bearish rectangle playing out and we break down to at the very least test this ascending trend line. Uh, take a look at the Ichimoku Cloud. Let's quickly confirm here we have broken fully bearish here on the short term time frame. Again, this is not uh, something you should be offended by by me saying you should, you know, the price is going to go down. You shouldn't have any emotional bias when trading. And at this point, everything is letting us know that the price is more likely to go down. Lagging spans free and clear. Momentum to the downside. We're below the cloud now officially, which we haven't seen in some time. At least this is the same thing with Bitcoin, by the way. So a lot of like smaller time frame confirmation is letting us know that we should see the price continue to run down. Now, when I say run down, I don't mean you know, the bottom's going to drop out. I'm just implying that we're going to start hitting these little check marks uh, across the board to the downside here. And just again, to reiterate and reaffirm, uh, those levels based on FIB here for our local uh, retracement would be 195. I'm paraphrasing. It's more like 196, but 195 would make sense because it would sweep that lower area of liquidation. And then secondary to that 188 and then 175. Um, but Specifically, if you want to consider liquidation, which usually is a really good indication of where support ranges are, we can see 160 as a close approximate. That would be a good dollar cost average target. And then 170 as well. Okay. I know those are very egregious. I don't think we're going to see that. But just know, you know, knowledge is power. <laughs> that gives you some opportunities to understand that's an area of potential consideration. All right. I hope that makes sense. And I just described that correctly. If uh, you find benefit, hit the like button, comment below, and uh, deeply appreciate you watching. I'll go ahead and post again our playout chart here shortly. Last but not least, make sure you check out BitUnix, folks. These guys are awesome, phenomenal. No KYC or VPN required exchange. Link down below for their um, deposit bonus right now. They do this every couple months, and it's really nice to be able to just kind of get you some extra futures bonus. So check it out. Easy to qualify. Just use my link to register. If you've already used my link in the past, just just get, go 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 claim your prize. <laughs> All right. Thanks again, folks. Hope you have a good rest of your day. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.